start with that. Uh, when you found out about that, um, you'd been nominated, but getting that award, what did that mean to you? Uh, yeah, first finding out, I was um, I was shocked, but um, and I was uh, very proud and grateful for being able to be selected as one of the, I think, 14 finalists. So it meant a lot. And then um, being able to my parents, it meant a lot for them. So I'm just very proud, and it's, it's a very huge honor. So You talked about it some before, but the academic side, when did that begin for you? Was, I mean, were you always good there? Did your parents really emphasize it? Yeah. Uh, you know, how did that come about? I was saying like high school, I was like, like average and stuff. But um, yeah, my parents definitely harped on it. Um, as soon as I got to college, cause um, before then um, I would see like players that were good and stuff, but they would have trouble with, like issues with like school and everything. So um, that like, uh, like hit me and stuff. Uh, realizing like you know football, like one day is gonna end, and um, education is, is is very important. It's gonna take you farther in life. So. Told us before, but how how many degrees and what were what are they in? I have two, so I got my undergrad in um, management information systems, and then I got my master's in the uh, business of administration. So you already have your master's. So what are you working on now? Uh, right now I'm just taking um, some undergrad classes, not towards anything, but um, maybe like in the future I might I might summarize my PhD. So we'll see. And then what do you want? I mean, it, someday football ends. When that happens, what do you want to do besides take Yeah, classes? that's something um, I'm still trying to figure out. Um, I know somewhere in the tech field, but they're like, there's so many uh, areas and everything, so uh, that will eventually come to me and everything. So I'm on the right path. So. What, kind, what kind of asset is being smart on the field? Is it, is it different being football smart than school smart? I trying to think I uh, they have like I guess I guess it's the same because football is it's a little different on um, trying to think um that's a good question on it yeah <laughs> um I feel like yeah in football like in the classroom like it carries over and stuff but um uh, there's like a lot of stuff in football like that we that we see and everything. So that's that's a good question. To follow along with Bob's question, then so you're on the back end. Do you have how quickly do you have to process things to be able to get everybody in the right spot? Yeah. So um, especially like with teams that are like tempo um like uh we have to I have to look to the sideline. Not me, just everybody like the corner free safety, me and the spirit. So we have to look at the line. Before that we have to give a like a strength call left to right and then um then once we get the call we gotta look at the formation what they're in and then uh give the call and then we have to adjust if they shift their motion and everything. So it all starts with getting the call, looking at the form, uh, formation and then uh, adjusting to like what they do after that. So is that just all second nature to you now? I mean it just kinda comes pretty easily or? Yeah, at first I was like it was hard because um, uh, I think my my beginning years I was at corner and I didn't really have to uh, say too much. But uh, at safety uh, now I'm like uh, I'm used to it and everything. So uh, being able to get a call, line up, and especially like Iowa State because they shift to like a whole bunch. Um, this I'm used to it now and everything. So is the shifting and the motion the p hardest part for you guys to adjust to? Because you're making one call and then all of a sudden. They shift to something else. Yeah, that and um, like tempo. So uh, I think that and tempo. So it, when the teams like line up like really fast, uh, we gotta get, we gotta get the car fast enough to get everybody lined up and everything. So. Do you find that you have any sort of responsibility in helping everyone? You know, kind of, kind of see that, or, or are you more of a guy that's you know, trying to make sure you know what you're doing? And that's like, are you helping other guys identify stuff too? Yeah, so um, I feel like on defense, everybody has like a role, like a part they play in everything. So um, my like one of my jobs is make sure everybody gets the call and everybody lines up, especially like the field side. That's what I'm uh, lined up on and everything. And then um, say if someone doesn't get the call on the other side, then I gotta relay relay that to them and everything. So I think the biggest thing is uh communication.
So. You've been here six years. Is it starting to hit you now that this is finally winding down? I guess. Uh yes. Um, I think my body. No, nah, but I. <laughs> I I definitely have fun. Like my uh being this being my sixth year and everything. So um, uh I think we only have uh three three games left. So uh. It hasn't hit me yet, but uh, it's gonna hit me soon and everything. So, but yeah, it does feel like I've been here for a while. So, do the younger guys joke? I mean, there have been some of those guys that were in middle school when you started college. I would assume, right? So, do they joke about you being the old guy? Yeah, I, I think me and um Evan Staley is the one. Uh, we came in 2016, so they definitely joke around. They call us like the old heads and everything. So. <laughs> What do you think of some of those young safeties that, you know, somebody's going to be taking your place next year? What what do you see out of those guys? No, I see, like, uh, a lot of potential for them. Um, and then uh, I think for senior-wise, like, our biggest thing is to be able to uh, just, you know, set the standard of, like, uh, like when we leave, like, what it, what they need to do and everything. But as far as, like, potential and everything, I, I see a lot of potential in them. And um, I know they're going to do uh, great things when we're gone, so. Anybody individually that jumps out at you? Any of those young guys? Uh, I can't. Uh, I don't want to like say anybody. Like I just see it in everybody. So. Yeah. How, how do you view the goals for the rest of the season? You know what I'm saying? The goals for the rest of the season. Um. So as a team, uh, just be able to finish. Um. You know, we have three opportunities left, and um, I think the biggest thing is just, you know, not give up, you know, because uh, I know this season is not uh, where we wanted to be, and um, but we still have three opportunities left, and um, just keep keep playing hard and keep finishing, so.